message from a federal prison. This is a prepaid call. You will not be charged for this call. This call. What happens if a person doesn't get accepted to a car? Can he ride with another car of another race? Yeah, you know, he, he can, but in a sense, those are what we call lames. He rides with a lame car, and the lame car basically gets, they have nothing coming. They don't get any any options, as we say. They don't got nothing coming out of the child hall. They don't got any benefits from any of the different job availabilities here. They basically just exist amongst themselves, and they hang out in the law library, and uh, most of them usually pay rent. They get extorted, you know, stuff like that. So um, they, this, this is a game of only the strong will survive, and it's a popularity contest. How strong your character is, and your ability to defend yourself and your car is uh, is how the pecking order goes. And every time a new bus drives up, they're after uh, number one draft picks. If that can kind of give everybody an idea of where the person is that is just not characterized as a solid, down-ass dude. What about people of mixed race? Okay, well, you have a couple of different scenarios depending on what the race you're mixed with. Okay, if you are black and mixed with white, you're going to ride with the blacks. If you're uh, Hispanic, mixed with white, you can kind of have your choice of whichever you decide you're going to ride with. Um, normally, they ride with the Hispanics. Um, if you have a, you're half Mexican, half white, but you have an American last name, other than a Hispanic last name, then you you have the option of riding with, with the whites. But normally, anything that rides with the whites are all pure pure white. Well, and, and, and vice versa. Another question I have is, how do groups and people mix with each other in prison on the compound? Well, we, we don't really mix. We, uh, we're polite and respectful to one another in passing. Uh, when we approach one another, we say, excuse me, you know, good morning. Uh, while we were en route to do what we have to do and get back to our crew, we don't normally stray too far away from one another at any given time. Normally, if you're out on the compound, you're, you're never alone for, for very long unless you're on a mission. You're always with your boys, so it's known that... Know, you're never vulnerable at any given time. I hear that prison is very segregated. In what ways? Well, how it is segregated is, for instance, in the higher institutions, you have your two-man cells, which those two-man cells have toilet facilities in them. So you're not sharing the toilet with anybody but your selling, which is normally of your race. Um, the showers are community showers, and there's really no one one race that uses one shower or another. Um, normally, people are very uh, creatures of habit, like 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 animals. They use the same showers, they use the same toilets. Um, uh, it's just become a, a you know just a, a creature of habit to them. So there's no no division amongst the ranks as far as those type of situations. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what happens if on the streets a person was raised very interracial and they have acquired characteristics as say, in this specific situation, I want to use a young white kid who's very influenced by hip-hop and he goes to prison and he really has that urban hip-hop street sounding voice. What happens to him if he is obviously, you know, Okay, that's a very good question, and that's a question that I have been dealing with because of your hip-hop influences, and I, really, my eyes only see one color, and that's green, and that's money, but sometimes you cannot help but get bad feelings and opinions toward people of other races because we are all crammed in here in this small environment and everybody's vying for just a little piece of space, a little piece of space and uh, privacy. So if a, a, a youngster comes in 
and he has the hip hop persuasion, and he's sagging, and he music of choice is BET. Well, the white race is going to be very offensive and non-accepting of him because of his choice of his cultural choices. But it is starting to get more and more uh, accepted as they're locking more and more of our youth up. And uh, a lot of these old school white dudes who are flying their lightning bolts and swastikas are starting to realize that hip hop is not just a black man's music, but it is art and everybody is involved in the movement. So they're, they're, they're starting to be a lot more understanding because they do need the numbers as they come in off the buses. You know, they don't want to let a good white dude who is a stand-up dude but happens to like hip-hop and, and, and is not going to let that, you know, affect his music choice. You know, he knows where he stands once he comes into prison, but that's as far as it goes. So how would he be perceived just by adding the word yo, or even bro, or even homie? You know what, uh, he, he probably wouldn't approach somebody like that, because when you walk into an environment like this, you become very adaptable very quick. So you choose your words very, very carefully, because words are, are what kicks things off in here. Well, what what a person says well, will carry him for the remainder of his sentence, just like first impressions are lasting. So what he's going to do is, if he is fully submerged in the hip hop culture, and he's he's like say uh, Eminem of that nature, he would probably be accepted by the blacks on a higher institution, and he would probably ride with the blacks. And, the, and one thing I would say about the blacks, whenever a white dude comes in from from that type of environment, he's a product of his environment, the blacks take care of him and they ride with him. They don't let nobody, nothing happen to him. But if he wants to, if, you know, if he wants to choose his race, well, they're, they're, you know, as long as he's not sitting there watching MTV, I mean, uh, BET with, with the majority of the, of the black population, it, it, it's starting to be more accepted. How okay? So now you have a young a young white man in there who kind of has hip hop characteristics, and how does he even go about like saying? That that's a very good question, and and it's pretty simple. If a person is like I say, really submerged into the culture, he's going to go to the blacks right off the bat, right out of the gate. He says, he says I ride with the blacks. Whites are not going to mess with him, not going to touch him. They're just going to shine him. They're not, they're not going to acknowledge him. And he just goes and, and, and does his thing. Um, I had a youngster that I kicked it with in Beaumont that was from Beaumont, and he was white. His name was old John, little Johnny B. But he rode with the blacks, and uh, that's just the way it was. And um, Actually, Johnny B had no problems. Could I ask you something? And Since we're on race, um, you speak fluent Spanish. How how could you kick it with him if he rode with the blacks and he was white? Well, I, I didn't so much as kick it with him as I played a lot of ball with him and I included in a lot of my common activities that we're allowed to function amongst each other on the rec yard. You know, we have sports leagues and, and several different things like that. Um, you're always going to get the, you know, well, why, why are you hanging around with him, that so-and-so? But you know what? I, I have enough character and enough uh, hand skills that very few people ever crossed me or said anything Good negative. Said, well, said anything negative toward me or who I choose to associate with because everybody knows what Kilo G stands at and what he's about. Understandable. Um, another question I have: We're running. We are at twelve twenty-six. I've got three questions, right? Okay. Okay, I think three. What about homosexuals? Do they form gangs, and are they of any status on the compound? None whatsoever. You have homosexuality that exists in prison, but it is very, very undercover because nobody ever wants to have that label put on them. Now, there is a small uh, percentage of the compound that are just blatant homosexuals, those are referred to as punks, 
hoes and bitches, and, and, and they're, they're cool with it because that's what they are. They are what they are. And actually, everybody just, you know, they, they, everybody just accepts them for what they are. But if you're a stand-up dude, that's the last thing you want to want to be labeled as, to get caught in, in a, in a uh, what, as they call them, a compromising position. So, you know, it, it's no different than in society. Okay. It's no different than society. It, it's it's not accepted, but yet it goes on. Okay. Um, one more. Um, what happens if a person has an interracial child on the streets when he gets to prison? Does he not talk about that kid if he's forced into into the whites or into the Mexicans or to whatever? If well, in a situation like that, if he's got a biracial kid and he loves his kid and stuff, he he normally goes to the side to the to the car that 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 child favors, like say if, if he's white and he's with a black girl and that child has all the characteristics of a black, they're probably going to go ahead and ride with the blacks because he'll never be accepted from the white race. You know, segregation is becoming more and more accepted. Is it becoming more accepted in prison on that notion? You know what? Things, the lower you get, it's more tolerable. In the penitentiary, the rules are so much, so much uh, stricter, but it's loosening Lose up because of the diversity of Wake them. up to reality! <laughs> One time for you, this little One time, time. follow me, sinners. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go. Follow me, sinners, if you're looking for forgiveness. Loyalty is losses, casualties are in this splinter. Split through the center of a serpent. Apocalyptic scriptures got ripped up. That's certainly not world is kind of in the world. Our prayers are worthless, they have no meaning Rip Jesus off the cross just to nail up a demon I've seen things that most people won't believe Like a blind baby drinking bottled gasoline Nicotine grows up to be a fiend Dies at 18, leave a baby behind we we'll probably do the same thing unless we change it We arrange their mind Hey yo, I'm over that With my rap scope and the facts Slope in the back I don't know how should I react When half the people I know are gone There ain't no coming back from all the places I've been So many faceless friends That got played out like tasteless drinks Left in the end, I'm trying to make amends for all those restless kids Breathless, spent their whole life protecting their necklace Running from a bullet that was gonna hit their head And they're dead goes out to mama, mama, friends This goes out to those who lie and sin This goes out to those who die for ends I wrote this one for those who try it again You blame the youth and you call them fools I point my finger at the public schools Education has lost its tool Society don't care about us So we get lost in the system Always wants to diss us I'm distracted with all of the fuss I didn't even catch a buzz of the high he supplied Don't know why, hold on detective Don't catch my lie I'm about to lose grip, I don't wanna die Go out fast like I never even tried Hold on the lights, don't tell me why Y'all reach for the sky but it's full of fire Why like the devil on an angel disguise On this side of why, I tell no why Bow out gracefully, maintain loyalty, educate the future, how to stay on the streets, rehabilitate inmates, build halfway houses, not put them back in prison, stock exchange, the market, cock the Glock, lock the aim, everybody all around is claiming the fame, I don't care about your name, cause you're all the same, situations I've seen, I'm surprised I'm sane, my other half is locked to a concrete chain, I kinda hit their head in their desk, goes out to mama, mama, friends, this goes out to those who lie and sin, this goes out to those who die for ends, I wrote this one for those who tried again, so 